Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Arun and in today's video, I'm going to talk about SAP Intelligent Enterprise. There is a misunderstanding in the SAP market where some people assume Intelligent Enterprise as one of the SAP's product. It is not the name of an SAP product or any software product for that matter. Rather, it is a term used to represent a modern enterprise that uses advanced technologies such as machine learning and artificial intelligence to get the most out of its data. If you go backwards in time, before the age of computers, business operations were manual. They were restricted to a limited set of process steps and there was no room for innovation or flexibility. When computers were introduced, they revolutionized the way organizations did business. Instead of sending checks through physical mail, online money transfers were utilized. Bulky physical ledgers replaced by software applications. Business processes were redefined to make use of the advantages offered by computers. Fast forward to 2020, we are in a period where technological advances are at its peak. Modern day consumers use mobile apps and social media to make purchases and also communicate with the brands. They make cardless payments and receive same day delivery. As a result, Modern day enterprises must change the way they do business by redefining their business processes. Otherwise, they'll be left behind in the fast changing world. They must integrate their customer support channels and CRM software with social media so that they can serve their customers in a better way. They need all the data in real time to make faster decisions. They must utilize technologies such as artificial intelligence and predictive analytics to predict things proactively. They must also make use of technologies such as Internet of Things to save cost and provide support to their customers. Utilize cloud technologies so that they are agile and will be able to adapt to changes quickly. They must provide a better user experience, not just to their customers, but also to their employees. In simple terms, they must become an intelligent enterprise. Now let's take a look at SAP's intelligence enterprise strategy. As per SAP's website, Intelligent enterprises or integrated enterprises that uses data to feed their intelligence. At SAP, we are enabling our customers to become intelligent enterprises by integrating data and processes, building flexible value chains, innovating with industry best practices, providing our customers with the ability to understand and act on their customer, partner and employee sentiment and also how to manage their environmental impact to grow more resilient, more profitable and more sustainable. So this is SAP's definition of intelligent enterprise. When SAP introduced its version of the intelligent enterprise in 2018, its framework looked like this picture. It mainly consisted of three main components. They are the intelligent suite, digital platform and intelligent technologies. So what is intelligent suite? It basically contains a suite of products that are required by an organization to run their core business processes. In the center is the ERP digital core, which could be either S4 HANA on-premise or a cloud version, supported by customer experience, which is C4 HANA, manufacturing and supply chain, which is IBP, Ariba and enterprise asset management, people engagement, which is success factors and field glass, network and spend management, which is Ariba and Concur. The second component is digital platform. The digital platform provides a bunch of applications that enable bunch of applications that enable the collection, connection and orchestration of data, which is enabled by SAP applications such as Analytics Cloud, Master Data Management and Data Warehouse Cloud. It also enables the integration and extension of data rich processes in integrated applications through SAP Cloud Platform. So the third component is called Intelligent Technologies. Intelligent technologies such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things and analytics help organization to use company-wide data to detect patterns, predict outcomes, suggest actions and also trigger process execution. In 2020, SAP has updated its Intelligent Enterprise Framework and now it looks like this picture. The latest Intelligent Enterprise Framework consists of components such as business process, applications, technology, and infrastructure. 
SAP believes the stick integration approach goes far beyond just technical integration of applications. Integrating both technology and business processes to deliver significant value to businesses is what will help our organization become an intelligent enterprise. Let's take a deeper look at each one of these components. The first one is business process. This include business process network and business process intelligence. Business process network is a cloud-based solution that helps organizations to connect all their trading partners into a single directory. It also helps them streamline their supply chain operations. It consists of applications such as Ariba Network, SAP Logistics Business Network, and SAP Asset Intelligence Network. Whereas business process intelligence solutions enable organizations to analyze the performance of their current business processes and then turn the process insights into actions to help them drive digital transformation. It includes components such as design and simulate, improve, rollout and govern, monitor, model and management, and finally benchmark. SAP's recent acquisition, Signavio, is part of this business process intelligence solution. The second component is called applications. This includes SAP's applications such as the Intelligent Suite and Industry Cloud. Intelligent Suite further consists of SAP applications such as Customer Experience, Manufacturing and Supply Chain, the Digital Co, People Engagement, Network and Spend Management. Industry Cloud consists of vertical solutions from both SAP and its partners that can be utilized by organizations to make use of industry best practices and also extend their current business processes. The third component is called Business Technology Platform. It is made up of a holistic of SAP solutions such as database and data management, analytics, application development, integration and intelligent integration and intelligent technologies. These solutions provide organizations with a platform through which they can build, manage, deploy and connect data and business processes on one integrated platform. The last component is called infrastructure. Customers have the option to host their applications either on an SAP data center or in one of the hyperscalers such as Amazon's AWS, Microsoft's Azure and Google Cloud Platform. It helps them to be more agile and also reduce total cost of ownership. So all these solutions combinedly help organizations to modernize their businesses and become an intelligent enterprise. Now let's take a look at a real example. I cannot name the company, so let's give it an imaginary name and call it as Wholesale Logistics. Now on a high level, Wholesale Logistics company's SAP landscape looked like this up until 2018. They had your typical applications such as SAP ECC, SRM, CRM, SEM, BW, and Bob J for analytics, and they were all integrated with each other with the help of SAP PI. What were some of the disadvantages in this type of landscape was the total cost of ownership was too high because they had to upgrade their systems on a regular basis to keep up with the regulatory patches. The systems were full of custom cores, so which made the upgrade a nightmare. There was no room to automate business processes because these legacy SAP products didn't have those advanced features. They had 1,800 trucks as part of their business operations. All those trucks were monitored using IoT technologies and the data was stored such as average speed of the trucks, their braking pattern, when is their service due, oil change and other important components were monitored. But the business was unable to pull that data into SAP and as a result they were stored in different software and there was no link between this data and their core business process. All of their systems were on-premise and hence they were unable to leverage advantages that come with cloud applications. So they decided to do a digital transformation in 2018 and as a result, they redesigned their whole SAP landscape. Now their ECC system was replaced with s that is now hosted on Microsoft Azure. SRM on-premise was replaced with Ariba. CRM on-premise was replaced with C4HANA, especially with Sales Cloud and Services Cloud. SEM on-premise was replaced with IBP. BW was replaced with BW4HANA, that is also hosted on Azure. And BobJ was replaced with SAP Analytics Cloud. They also upgraded their solution manager from 7.1 to 7.2, which is the latest version, and also configured more functionalities in them, like business process operations, integration monitoring, and test management. 
Now they use SAP Cloud Platform integration for their enterprise level integration strategy, which underpins integration strategy, which underpins all the SAP applications as well as some third party applications. They now use SAP's IoT platform to monitor their trucks and pull in all the required information, which are then fit into the S4 application. As a result of this change, they have drastically reduced their on-premise footprint. A lot of their on-premise systems has been replaced by cloud applications so that they don't have to spend time, effort and cost to upgrade them on a regular basis. Infrastructure cost has reduced as well, so overall total cost of ownership has drastically reduced. Also, they were able to make use of process automation functionalities available in the latest S4 HANA application. Overall, user experience has been drastically improved with the help of SAP Fiori applications. All their manual processes were eradicated. All the custom codes were now eradicated and instead they now built extensions on SAP Cloud Platform, which are then integrated into their SAP on-premise applications. So basically, they have now transformed into an intelligent enterprise and modernized the way they run their business, not just from a technical perspective, but also from an end-to-end -end business process perspective. Hope this example gives you an idea of how businesses can transform themselves into an intelligent enterprise with the help of SAP applications. We have now come to the end of this video. I've also got a blog where I upload the transcripts of the videos. I've given the link in the description, so please check it out if you're interested. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again and see you soon in another video.